Hey y'all, welcome back. So let me just let me just back up a little bit. So first of all, I have not posted a YouTube video since like November. Um, and that was just body care, bath and body works, which is usually what I talk about on my channel. However, um, if you guys follow my Bath and Body Works Instagram page, y'all have seen that I have been on my fitness journey for a little while. Um, I've been doing juicing, meal prepping, workouts, like all that stuff. So I decided that I wanted to start reviewing activewear. Um, so if you guys are on Facebook and you're super, super into activewear, like me, you're probably a part of a Facebook group called Fit Finds. Um, and it was started by another YouTuber who does reviews. Her name's Catherine Mueller. Um, love her. Y'all need to follow her. I'll, I'll put her um, handle on here somewhere. But yeah, I joined that group and it's basically where they talk about um, affordable activewear options, reviewing stuff before you make a purchase. And I'm literally always on there. I got a few pieces from this collection. I will try to link all of the items below in the description box. So you can just go right to whatever piece that you like. Um, but I'm going to talk about like the fabric composition, how it fits, all that, and then let y'all see. So. First thing, um, we'll talk about what I have on, which is the Power Down Vest and the Power Down Shorts. Um, so since Gymshark is an Australian-based company, I believe, um, I think it's like a cultural thing to call tank tops vest. Um, but if you live in the United States, like I do, it's just a tank top. They had two options um, that was like a tank style like this. Um, there was a bralette and then the actual vest which I have on. I did get the bralette in another color so we can talk about that. But I prefer the length of the vest. Um, I like a little bit more coverage especially on days when I'm like bloated and I want something that is going to make me you know feel a little bit more covered up if you get what I'm saying. So um yeah, so first things first, I put my measurements in the description box below, but I will mention it again here. Um, as far as top, I am a 36C. Um, I did not wear a bra with this top because I feel like it is compressive enough where I don't need to wear one, but you could easily layer um, a low impact bra with this, um, something with spaghetti straps, of course, because anything else wouldn't really look right. And then the back is kind of a square back design, so I'll let you see that. So it's kind of a square back um, stand up so you can see better. So yeah, so it hits me right about mid waist. Um, and this is what it looks like standing up. Here you go, here you go. But yeah, I did not wear a bra with it. Um, the straps are very comfortable. The overall material is super comfortable. Um, I looked up the material actually here. I'll look at the material for the other color. Well, this is the bralette, but it's all the same material. Um, it's 80% <clears throat> modal, 15% nylon, 5% elastane. So the 5% elastane is going to give it like slight stretch, which it is very, very stretchy. Um, the polyester, I think, makes it soft. And then modal, I looked it up. It's similar to like a rayon, which I think is this sweater material like this is literally like a stretchy thin sweater material it's really hard to explain but um that is what it feels like so this is definitely not something that i personally would work out in at least not at the gym only because it is definitely not a sweat wicking material um even me just sitting here in my room like when i got a little bit hot i could see that there was some sweat marks here but if you were doing like an at-home workout, like honestly, the way that the waistband is on this, it's not super, super compressive, but it does not go anywhere once you put it on. Um, and again, this fabric is super stretchy. Like I literally can, you know, do whatever in this. Um, so yeah, with the shorts, so for my measurements um, with the shorts, y'all, I never know when it comes to measuring myself, I never know as far as like hips and glutes where the right measuring point is. So I'm going to turn to the side um, 
If I measure my actual hips, like right above my glutes, I believe I'm at 38 inches. But if I measure the widest part of around my hips with my glutes included, I'm at about 44 to 45 inches. So um, those are my measurements with that. But um, yeah, so here are the shorts, same material. The waistband is definitely similar to if you've had any other Gymshark collections, the waistband is really similar to the lightweight seamless, I think. Um, but it's like a lot stretchier. The lightweight seamless waistband was very, very compressive to the point where like it was not moving. This is sucks you in, but it doesn't dig in, um, which I like. It's really, really soft. Material is really, really soft. Again, I can do anything in here. Um, please excuse my lotion marks. Um, but yeah. I really like the Gymshark logo on the side. Um, let me zoom in so y'all can see a little bit better. Yeah, I like the Gymshark logo on the side. You can kind of see the detail of the material. It is ribbed. Um, but as you guys know, with these kinds of logos, they can come off in the wash. So I would definitely recommend washing it on cold and hang drying it um, because this is also... A material that I think would peel very very easily because it almost feels cottony and if you look at the seams these seams although they, they although they look kind of strong I definitely think there is some room for the seams to possibly fray or get stuck on something or anything like that so but yeah overall I definitely recommend these um, they're just really cute really casual it's a good length. It's high-waisted, but not too high. So it's like right above my belly button. But honestly, if you wanted to hike them up more, you probably could. I just like this length. Um, I also hike them up, like the actual length of them a little bit. Because I like for it to hit like mid-calf. I mean, mid-thigh. So that is where mine hit. <clears throat> but yeah. So that is that. This is the power down. This is the claret. Um, again, this is the vest and the shorts. So, yeah. Oh, I didn't check the squat proofness. If you guys want to work out in this and you want to see if it's squat proof, let's see. It does look pretty squat proof. I'm trying to get it positioned to where I can see, like, under my ring light. Yeah, like, I, I feel like it's, it's kind of squat proof. Um, but if you hike the fabric up, like, to this area right here, it probably would still be squat proof but again I don't really recommend working out in this unless you're going to be at home because it is not sweat proof so that's that but yeah I'm about to try on the other colors and um some of the other designs okay cool okay y'all so these are the leggings um again in the same colorway the claret colorway claret I should say um <clears throat> these are the leggings Again, another high waist design, and um, these have the same the same waistband that the shorts had. So zoom in so you guys can see the material again. That ribbed. I like the little detail on the side too with these. Like you can kind of see it better here. Um, but yeah, same little you know ribbing all down the side. These are full length on me and then you can see the Gymshark um, logo or whatever. They're full length on me. I am about 5'6", five, 5'5 five, five and a half, something like that. And again, they go really well with the vest. Here's the overall look. Um, and yeah, I really, I really like this set y'all. Same thing with the leggings. I did forget to mention though, with the shorts, with this type of material, like, oh, here, let's test the squat proofness. So, yeah, you can kind of see the tag of my underwear, but I am wearing nude underwear for the purposes of this video. But anyway, what I forgot to mention with the shorts and the same with these leggings, these are one of those seamless leggings that does not have the contour or the, um, the seam that separates the cheeks so it can kind of give you that weird one butt like unibutt look but it really doesn't bother me all that much because I hiked mine up literally like I pulled all the extra fabric from the bottom 
to the top so that I didn't have any type of extra fabric right here. Um, you'll notice a lot of times with seamless leggings, like you will get like some extra, um, some extra like fabric down here, like where it'll either gather up or it'll just be like, you know, y'all know what I'm trying to say. Like it'll just be some extra like air pocket right there. Like I, I hate that. I personally prefer when my leggings give me like some hugging in the crotch area. I know that sounds crazy, but it just makes it, it just feels easier for me to move when it's like everything is hiked all the way up because you can just do the most. So yeah, I'm gonna do a quick squat real quick for y'all so you can see the leggings and then we'll move on to the other pieces. So let's see. Okay. Okay, y'all, I changed the positioning a little bit in my camera so y'all can kind of see better. But um, something else that I forgot to mention, which is the most important part, I gave y'all my measurements. I am a medium in literally every single piece. So that is what I got. Um, that's my true size. Um, I literally wear a medium in everything Gymshark except for like the older flex leggings where I size down to a small in those just because I preferred the fit. But everything else is a medium so yeah okay y'all so this is the green set um so this is the bralette in comparison to the vest i would say the bralette is definitely shorter um let me bend down so y'all can see i'm doing a lot right now okay but yeah the bralette is definitely shorter um definitely is like right on top of my rib cage um i typically don't wear just sports bras in the gym um, no matter how hot it is, for whatever reason, I prefer to just have like a tank top on or over my sports bra. So something like this, if I did not wear a shirt over it, I definitely, um, definitely hike the waist up a little bit more, which you can do. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like the green is a little bit more stretchy. Um, but here are the leggings. The green definitely is not as squat proof as the claret, which... It's understandable because this is a lighter color, um, but the leggings overall fit the same. Same thing with the Gymshark right here, um, and then along the leg on the bottom, so y'all can see. Okay, let me actually move closer. It's hard with this camera angle, y'all. I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> okay, yeah, so y'all can see. But yeah, so same little, same little contouring on the side. Um, I really like the detail on these like it's such a cool material but again not sweat proof so if you were to work out in something like this definitely just do it at home um, unless you don't care about sweat in the gym which I don't care for the most part but this is definitely like it would show every little every little spot and every little piece so yeah but um, this comes up higher in the back also so y'all can see it's not as square as the vest is in the back um it's more of a scoop neck in the back there is a risk for some side boob spillage if you have bigger girls um again i'm a 36c which i consider to be kind of standard like kind of in between small and big and i you know have a little bit of spillage on the side it's not too bad but if you have bigger girls you might possibly want to size up in the bras um but otherwise stick to your two true size in this in this set um in this overall collection because it's very form fitting to your body um i don't see something like this stretching out too much um i can move around can do a lot and um yeah so let's do one more squ squat from far away Okay, yeah, so as y'all can see, it's definitely not squat proof in this color, but this is just a really cute color. So this is definitely something casual. Okay. Okay, y'all, this is the last colorway. This is the last colorway that I have in this set, which I think honestly might be my favorite. Um, again, these are the Power Down shorts. And let's see. This is the Power Down vest again in the gray. Um, you can see the detail on this a little bit better with the gray. But, um, so, let's see. Yeah, same waistband. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, I feel like the gray is a little bit more 
stretchy um like when i was putting it on i literally like got in it and jumped up and we were good so um the other two colors i kind of had to pull it on like pantyhose kind of but otherwise um i mean they're pretty consistent but i would say if you want to try any color first before you commit i think there was also blue if i'm not mistaken unless that was the old power down but i didn't get anything blue um the gray this is definitely stretchy sis like if you're in between sizes with the gray you might even be able to size down um i am a true medium in gymshark so i don't usually have to size down but sometimes in other brands i'm like in between a small and a medium but these are super stretchy um and this is obviously a nice neutral color gray goes with everything sis <laughs> okay but um yeah that is it let me do a quick squat for y'all i gotta make sure it stays in the view because i don't have my phone to see that was a terrible form for my squat but i just wanted to show y'all so let's do one more like up close so you can see so yeah again the gray they're all sort of sheer um for the most part but like i said this is not a workout fit in my opinion um the material is just i don't know i've never felt anything like this like this is a very different um i haven't tried power down before this is my first time and gymshark had a power down set last year <clears throat> and i did not try it because the waistband literally went up here and they said that you were supposed to fold the waistband down but i don't really like that whole folded down waistband look like that's not really for me i just feel like that's the point of a waistband it's supposed to already be prepared and ready to go i don't want to have to fold it down and do the most so but anyways um that's it y'all for the power down collection i hope y'all enjoyed this haul um i am going to be uploading a few more videos this week if not one more today um which is the gymshark flex collection which i picked up the all-in-one flex unitard um i actually ordered it the same time that i ordered this stuff but i decided that i would review it with the rest of the flex stuff that i have um so if you're interested in a haul of the flex one piece let me know in the comments below um and thank y'all so much please subscribe if you have not subscribed already show your friends if you are another thick girl um, and you want more reviews like this from me, please let me know. Um, I will be coming with the content for y'all this year. Okay?